Would you believe it if we say that Elizabeth Holmes once had billions in her bank account, but currently she's on trial and may be sentenced to jail? Yes, you heard that right. In this video, we will look at the story of Elizabeth Holmes, the billionaire female who lost everything she had. We will also look at some of the expensive things owned by her. Stay there till the end of the video so that you don't miss out on anything. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Elizabeth Holmes is the former CEO and founder of Theranos. Holmes enrolled at Stanford before dropping out during her sophomore year at the age of 19 to focus on building and launching her company. Theranos was a health technology startup that aimed to improve the efficiency of blood testing. According to ABC News, it claimed to be able to run over 200 medical tests on a single drop of blood using a machine called the Edison device by Holmes. She told her relatives that she wanted to be a billionaire when she grew up, according to the findings of Business Insider. Forbes named her the world's youngest self-made billionaire in 2015. However, as allegations of fraud swirled around her company, Forbes revised her estimated net worth to near zero. Her company's success did not last long. The device did not work as Holmes claimed it did. Moreover, despite the company's claims to the contrary, it had not been endorsed by large corporations such as Pfizer. By 2013, Theranos had a market capitalization of $10 billion and had partnered with Walgreens to open in-store blood collection centers. According to some reports, the company was also working with Cleveland Clinic, Capital Blue Cross, and Ameri Health Caritas. According to the Associated Press, the prosecutor Robert Leach argued her conviction and said she should pay $900 million to Theranos investors. Just by applying common sense, the money these investors lost is the money they put in. Her lawyer stated that the prosecutor should not be pursuing an all-or-nothing settlement. He also stated that the jury was unable to reach a decision on three counts of investor fraud, which were later dismissed. A judge sentenced Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes to 11 years and three months in prison on November 18, 2022, after she was found guilty of wire fraud and conspiring to commit wire fraud. According to NBC Bay Area, the founder of a health tech startup will then be released on supervised release for three years. Despite filing a request to postpone her prison start date while her appeal is heard, U.S. District Judge Edward Davila ruled that there wasn't enough compelling evidence to keep her free on bail while her lawyers tried to persuade an appeals court that alleged misconduct during her four-month trial led to an unjust verdict. Holmes will now have to report to prison on the 27th of April as scheduled. Now let's have a look at some of the most expensive things owned by Elizabeth Holmes before this conviction. $135 million estate Holmes and her partner William Billy Evans, a 29-year-old hospitality heir, used to stay in a residence at one of Silicon Valley's most opulent estates called Green Gables. After Evans was issued a traffic ticket, the address was confirmed to the media and the address given was that of the $135 million storied estate. According to a CNBC feature, the couple resided in a nine-bedroom house with an English country manor-like feel situated on the 30-hectare equivalent to a 74-acre estate. The estate's land consisted of four swimming pools, a tennis court, a flower and vegetable garden, and a resident-only reservoir. It was constructed in 1911, and deer are also on the grounds. The estate is renowned for hosting prominent people from Silicon Valley, royalty, and politics. It was also heard that the couple were staying together in this place, even during the trial of Holmes earlier on. The building is a French provincial house located in a very posh Silicon Valley area. Given that the Menlo Circus Club is only one block away, its location is extremely significant. The property is well landscaped and has numerous outbuildings. A motor court with inlaid stones in the style of European mansions is located behind the main building. The entire property is French-inspired and the grounds are landscaped with formal gardens. The property is well-equipped for entertaining too. Multiple outdoor living spaces make entertaining outside in the beautiful Atherton weather a breeze. One outdoor living area leads to a pool. The house has two floors, five bedrooms, one of which is a staff quarter, and five full bathrooms. There is parking for four cars in the detached garage. A guest house and a second office are also available. Seems like her staff also had a good time. The Obligatory Luxury Flat Even after Theranos formally shut down in 2018, Holmes and Evans continued to pay $5,000 a month to rent a luxurious flat in San Francisco, according to Business Insider. The flat was located on Lombard Street, a well-known tourist destination in San Francisco, and was close to the most crooked street in the world. 
Since leaving the flat, the couple had to remain in San Francisco due to the court case. The apartment building's entryway may have drawn Holmes in because it resembles the look and feel of her mansion. A VIP dog Vanity Fair covered the infamous tale of Holmes and the lengths she went to in order to own a Siberian Husky. The article described how she traveled across America in first class, was driven to a breeder, and purchased a nine-week-old puppy named Balto. She and Balto were frequently picked up by her driver for work, and occasionally she would have her security guards and personal assistants with her. Scientists at Theranos reportedly complained about contaminated samples after she led Balto into their labs, but she seemed to have dismissed them. Can you even imagine? There were frequent hygiene-related concerns and even reports of dog waste in the workplace, and the staff was obviously untrained in pet care. Washington, D.C. House Once Elizabeth's father's job was lost and the family was forced to return to Washington, D.C. This house where the Holmes family stayed was sold in 2021 for $2.75 million, and Redfin estimates it is worth more than $3.5 million as of 2022. The Ballantrae home has seven bedrooms and five bathrooms spread out over 8,952 square feet. It had French doors leading to the outside just like Holmes's eventual mansion. Number of staff around her Elizabeth had two drivers, two security personnel, and two assistants, according to the information from Vanity Fair. Home was driven everywhere, and an assistant was always on duty to respond to inquiries. She also had a personal publicist who was paid $25,000 per month on a retainer. Many of her guards and assistants ended up working for Balto as dog walkers. Private Jet It won't be any surprise if we say that Elizabeth also owned a private jet. Holmes preferred to travel by her private jet, whether for business or pleasure. She has insisted on flying solo since the company's inception. When Theranos' finances began to falter, she agreed to downgrade and began flying first class on commercial flights instead. Other Expensive Spendings Theranos' Palo Alto headquarters costs a whopping $1 million per month to rent. She allegedly spent $100,000 on a conference table while decorating the building. One of the boardrooms appeared to have screens that could emerge from the ceiling, eliminating the need for staff to move to view a presentation. What was presented was less clear. While Elizabeth Holmes, once a celebrated tech entrepreneur, faces the possibility of going to jail for fraud, Saudi Arabia is investing billions of dollars in massive developments aimed at transforming the country's economy and infrastructure. You'll see that in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe for more such stupidly expensive things from around the world, and do hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our important video updates. So like and subscribe to the channel because that's not expensive.